So you have a blog post and you want to insert a video into your blog post. The first thing you have to do is have the video in your drive. If you have the video in your drive, then you can open the video. This is going to start to play. You don't need to play it. You can pause it. But if you come up to the more actions, the dots up the top here, for some reason you have to click open in new window. I'm not sure why you have to do this, but just bear with me for a second. It opens it in a new window. And now if you click on the more actions again, you can get the embed item option. So if you click that, you can copy this code here, this HTML code. And if you go back to your blog post, you can put it into text mode. If you paste it here, it will just paste in as text and look, uh, you've got no idea what that is. If you come back to text, if you go over to text over here and you paste it in, and now you go to visual, you will see the video is embedded inside your blog post. That means the user can watch the video on your blog. They don't need to go to another platform to watch the video or click on a link. The video will play straight inside your blog. After you've embedded a video, you have to come back and check what your share settings in are. If you have not shared this video before, even though you've embedded it, nobody will be able to see this video except you in your blog. You can tell when you go to embed something, sometimes it tells you only the owner and explicitly shared collaborators have access. So what you have to do to fix this is you come to the share settings in your video and you want to click get a shareable link. And then you can say who has access to view this video. If you want anybody to have access, you can select one of these top two options. Anybody with the link or public on the web can view. And once you click save, now that embedded video can be viewed by anybody that goes to your blog post and tries to watch the video.